when it comes to vindication, we need to be less talking about it. When it comes to vengeance, we need to be less talking about it. That is all, both of those, vindic vindication and vengeance, justice, that is just God's character. In the kingdom of darkness, knows this. It's the kingdom of God that needs to walk firmly in this. That is about God's character. Should God not seek vengeance on your behalf, should God not vindicate his people, then he would be a changing God, which he's not. He would be a liar, which he's not. It's all about his character. He does these things for his people, not for the people, but because he is a God that does these things for his people. Do you understand the difference there? He is, that is his nature, that is his character. And you need to know that firmly and stop focusing on it. You've got to let go. You've got to let go and forgive and move on because there's too much chatter in the body, which is all about looking back and seeing what God's going to do to somebody. And if you keep looking back, God's not going to do nothing to nobody. It's impossible to look one way with this eye and this, this way with another eye. The Lord is telling you that in order to be about my business, to walk in love, to truly forgive so I can even hear your prayers, you've got to move forward. You've got to stop looking back. And every time you start to concern yourself with vengeance and vindication and justice, which are just aspects of God's character, he's always, always, always going to bring these things to pass for his people because that's the kind of God he is. He doesn't change or lie. And every time you concern yourself with them, you're doubting him or you're unforgiving the people. It's always, there's never a justification for focusing on these things. And the Lord is saying, I want you to be forgiving. How can you possibly have, be, I told you to be wise like a serpent and to be innocent like a dove. How can you possibly call yourself innocent? How can you possibly call yourself righteous when you keep looking for the downfall of these people? How can you truly love and bless your enemies like you're called to when you keep looking backwards to see if they're going to get theirs? He hears all of that. Do not deceive yourselves. Vindication and justice and vengeance, those are all just parts of God's character. He always does these things for his people because that's the kind of God he is. And again, the kingdom of darkness knows this. It's time for the kingdom of God to know the character of the God they claim in the name of Jesus Christ because he is unchanging and unfailing and unwavering and so must we be. There's a part in the Bible in Acts where the disciples say, Acts 1, 6, and 7, when they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? And they're talking to him about vindication, vindicating Israel. And Jesus says to them, and I hope you take heart to this. He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the father has established by his own authority. Now, he wasn't talking about the signs of the times and that, you know, these are end days and this and that. He was talking about the father's business, which has nothing to do with us. Very clear here. Lord, are you going to restore the kingdom of Israel? Lord, is it time? Are you going to do what we've been waiting for you to do? It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the father has established by his own authority. We are called to bind things on earth and so it will be done in heaven. Hallelujah. And this comes with the authority and the power of the Holy Spirit. A layman's way to look at binding is this. So bind in the Strong's Concordance is Deo. And what it means is I declare to be prohibited and unlawful. To bind, you're making a declaration. It is illegal for you to be here, unclean spirit. You're making a declaration. You're binding up that power. You're stopping agendas. You're stopping whatever they thought they were doing. And you're actually declaring it by the authority of the Holy Spirit within you to be prohibited and unlawful. It is illegal for that unclean spirit to trespass where this son or daughter of God is of God is that is what binding is and you must walk in that authority because many people rebuke unclean spirits okay but that's not the same as binding you know if imagine a a, a perpetrator what how do you say a criminal you know whatever comes into your house i rebuke you <laughs> okay you know but when you say it, it's um, it's illegal for you to be here that's something different. That's something different. Where is it illegal? It's illegal in the courts of heaven. This is what the spiritual is all about, legalities. It's all about authority and legalities. It's not what you see here on the outside. 
binding is all about using your authority, which is the authority of Jesus Christ, who has all authority on earth and in heaven. So says Jesus Christ, who is Lord. Hallelujah. And you're declaring it illegal. It is unlawful for this spirit to be here. Now, we can only do that in faith. And it is very unwise to be practicing warfare outside of faith. Why? When we skip forward to Acts chapter 19, there were some Jews walking around who didn't know Jesus personally, but they knew of him and they knew the work his disciples were doing. And these Jews were casting, trying to cast unclean spirits out of people. And one day, scripture tells us in Acts 19 and 15, the evil spirit answered them. One day they're, they're trying to kick out these unclean spirits and the spirit talked to them. Now, the spirits don't talk when you have authority. They just do what they're told because they have no authority greater than Jesus Christ. They know they, there's, no, there's no choice. They're, they do not have a choice. It is not an equal fight. You have to know that. So in 1915 of Acts, the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know, and I know about Paul. But who are you? You see, when we say words like the kingdom of darkness knows your name, this is very, this is biblical. This is serious. This is not tooting anyone's horn. The kingdom of darkness is very well aware of who's out here actually walking in the authority of the Holy Spirit. And guess what? Yeah, they know you by name. They see you coming just like they did when our Lord came. Jesus, I know. And I know about Paul because Paul was seriously anointed. You know, for anyone that wants to call, and, and many people are now, they have this new ridiculous gospel of Barnabas, which is just seems to be like Muslim propaganda. There's a whole bunch of, of false things coming out. A lot of people, oh, Paul was wrong. Paul was a fake disciple. No, no, no. Even the demons, even the demons knew who Paul was. Hallelujah. Jesus, I know, and I know about Paul. But who are you? They were, they were basically saying, uh, you dare talk to us with no authority? It continues. Then the man who had the evil spirit jumped on them and overpowered them all. He gave them such a beating that they ran out of the house naked and bleeding. It is dangerous to be out here with no authority, with no true faith, and to be practicing warfare. Because you better believe that those evil spirits that are on these humans, they will absolutely come against you. Do not walk onto, you know, into a gunfight with a knife. So like they say, okay, you got to know, you got to be in faith. You got to know how the proper way to perform warfare is always like this whole walk predicated in faith. We're going to get there, y'all, for those of you, but be mindful. There's a lot of people talking about warfare in a really fake way, and it is dangerous to be out here practicing it unless it be in true faith by the same way that Jesus Christ did it himself. Hallelujah and glory to God in Jesus name.